In a South Carolina courtroom today, prosecutors grilled disgraced former attorney Alec Murdaugh about his admitted lies and deceit. The prosecution alleges that Murdaugh killed his wife and youngest son to gain sympathy and buy time to cover up his financial crimes. Murdaugh today offered his own theory on the murders, and CBS's Nikki Batiste was there. In court today, Alec Murdaugh insisted someone else was responsible for killing his wife and son on June 7th, 2021. The person or people who did what I saw on June the 7th, they hated Paul Murdaugh. But prosecutor Creighton Waters insists Murdoch is the killer and grilled him for nearly six hours about his repeated lying. And you've been able to lie quickly and easily and convincingly if you think it'll save your skin for well over a decade. Murdoch told investigators he never went to the dog kennels the night his wife and son were murdered. But prosecutors say this cell phone video places him there. We were at the murder scene with the victims just minutes before they died. I did not tell them that I went to the kennel. Showing cell phone records, Waters points out Murdaugh's cell phone, which was recording his steps, became very active 13 minutes after prosecutors say his wife and son's phones locked for the final time. What were you so busy doing? That's going to the bathroom? No, I don't, I don't think that I get on a treadmill. went to the bathroom. No, I didn't get on a treadmill. Jog in place? No, nope, I didn't jog in place. Jacks. No, sir, I did not do jumping jacks. During that time, Murdaugh also made several phone calls, something the prosecution says was intentional. You are up at 9.02, finally having your phone in your hand, moving around and making all these phone calls to manufacture an alibi. Is that not true? That's absolutely incorrect. The defense team says they hope to rest their case by Tuesday, which means the jury would begin deliberations next week. The courtroom got so rowdy today, the judge for the first time used his gavel. Nora. Nikki Batiste, thank you.